From Ben Simmons refusing to show up to training camp in Philly, to Kawhi Leonard's shocking move to the Toronto Raptors, the NBA has seen some extremely controversial and unexpected moves over the years, and they can truly make or break the teams in question. Unlike soccer, the NBA has always followed a sort of barter system when it comes to moving on or bringing in new faces. In soccer, a player can be transferred from one team to another in exchange for money. But trades are definitely a lot more interesting. Of course, there are other ways of building a team in the NBA too. Like some teams use free agency. Others use their draft picks to rebuild through the draft. But trades are a quick way of fixing a lackluster squad and turning teams into instant contenders. The latest example of this can be the Russell Westbrook trade from this season. The Lakers were hovering in the lottery places less than two months ago. On trade deadline, they used a first-round draft pick along with Russell Westbrook to fix the team. And they really did. The franchise pulled off a trade that saw them land a former Laker in D'Angelo Russell, who replaced Westbrook in the point guard position, while also addressing two of their other shortcomings. The defense was solved by the incoming Jared Vanderbilt and three-point shooting thanks to Malik Beasley. Now, with just one trade, the Lakers have the best defense in the entire league since the deadline. They're also shooting and making a lot more threes and have better chemistry going into the business end of the season. In fact, they're seventh already in the West and have their playoff destiny in their own hands up until the time of the shooting of this video. But the Lakers aren't the only side to experience such a quick turnaround in recent times. Allow me to present the Ben Simmons trade. Talking about controversial trades, it doesn't get more controversial than Ben Simmons and his entire career. To be fair, picked number one by the 76ers in the 2016 draft, there were so many expectations from the Australian. He was even compared to LeBron James at one point, laughably. And he almost even came good on some of those early expectations. The 26-year-old became the Rookie of the Year in 2018, before going on to establish himself as one of the best defenders in the league. He became a three-time All-Star and was the Steel's leader in 2020. But then, Simmons demanded a trade after disappointment in the playoffs in 2021. His reluctance to shoot and score has been a major issue throughout his career. Fellow teammate Joel Embiid cited his decision to pass up on an open dunk as the reason for the Sixers' shortcomings that year, and Doc Rivers, the coach, said that he had his doubts over Simmons' point guard potential. This led to a holdout from Simmons, who had four years left on his massive contract, and he demanded a trade. Things got so bad that he refused to show up for the training camp ahead of the 2021-22 season. Eventually, though, Simmons, after becoming the most fine player in NBA history, got his wish as he was traded to the Brooklyn Nets in 2022, with James Harden going the other way. One year on, and it's fair to say that the 76ers won that trade, because Simmons' time in Brooklyn has been a nightmare to say the least. While the Sixers have a good team, enough to contend for a title this season, that said, Sometimes, the players go on to be successful after causing controversy, which is what Kawhi Leonard did after he left the San Antonio Spurs. Now, the Spurs have been, for the majority of this century, the most harmonious team in the league, and one of the most successful sides, too. Why would a budding superstar want to leave all that behind? For Kawhi, the reasoning was simple. He didn't like the way the Spurs dealt with his injury. And with the two camps disagreeing over the right approach to deal with his quad troubles, Leonard demanded a trade. The Raptors gave up two young stars in DeMar DeRozan and Jakob Pertl to the Spurs along with a pick. But little did they know just how much of a steal this trade would prove to be. Even though Kawhi only stuck around for one season in Toronto, he did enough to become a legend for the franchise as he took them to their only championship defeating the Kevin Durant-led Golden State Warriors on their way. Talking about players who left successful franchises and still found more silverware, how can we possibly forget one of the most controversial trades in NBA history? Yep, it's Shaquille O'Neal's trade from LA to Miami. 
The Lakers had been as successful as any other team in the NBA could have managed with Kobe and Shaq. They three-peated the NBA, and despite their contrasting styles, both Kobe and Shaq were deemed unstoppable. Eventually, though, the off-court drama caught up with both players, and the Lakers were left with a difficult choice. Shaq, though, didn't wait for them to make up their mind. He was clearly sick of the way the franchise was allegedly favoring Kobe over him, and also pointed out how he wasn't happy with the fans giving Kobe more credit than him, while getting mad over the fact that the Black Mamba was selling more jerseys. And this led to Shaq demanding a trade, and he was shipped to the Miami Heat for plenty of future first-round picks and Lamar Odom. It worked out perfectly for O'Neal, who would help the Heat win another championship and used his fourth ring to rub it in Kobe's face, claiming that it was clear after his recent success which player was better. Of course, the story doesn't have a happy ending for Shaq, because Bryant would win back-to-back -back championships just two years later. That said, the Lakers have also benefited massively from some controversial trades throughout NBA history, too. Yep, the Wilt Chamberlain and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar trades come to mind instantly the first one propelling the Lakers to kickstart their legacy, and the second one helping them to cement it. Now, Wilt had won three straight MVPs, so I have no idea what compelled the Sixers to agree to this trade. They went for it anyway, though, and got nothing but some cash and a couple of role players in return. Wilt would go on to become a franchise legend for the Lakers, leading them to their first title. Similarly, it made no sense for the Milwaukee Bucks to let go of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Again, they received literal nobodies in return. Kareem's legacy as a Laker is probably only matched by Kobe, as he guided them to five championships, winning the MVP award multiple times, and becoming the all-time leading scorer in the NBA for nearly four decades. That said, they've also missed out on potential glory to controversies that didn't work out. I'm of course talking about the failed Chris Paul trade, which is up there as one of the most controversial moves in NBA history. Now, Paul was a superstar for the Hornets, but he'd had enough of their unwillingness to improve the roster. The point god demanded a trade naming the Lakers as one of his preferred destinations, and the Lakers had somewhat fallen off after their back-to-back -back campaigns. Many believe that Kobe alongside Dwight Howard and Chris Paul in their primes, with a lot more cap space to further improve the side, would be an unbeatable side. They weren't wrong either, because it just made so much sense on paper. Unfortunately for the Lakers fans, the excitement was cut short, as the NBA commissioner David Stern stepped in and stopped the trade from happening. They believed that CP3 joining the LA Lakers would have disrupted the league's balance as it would have enabled the franchise to secure a top-notch point guard without sacrificing any draft picks. Paul would still move to Los Angeles, though, but to the Clippers instead. That's all I have on the most controversial trades in NBA history.